<laughs> nah, that's a good fight, son. What's poppin' fight, world? You rocky with your boy. Nah, nah, put it over there, dog. Listen, man, just finished watching the video with my boy Kel Brook. My boy Kel Brook want that smoke with your boy Terrence Crawford, man, a real boogeyman at 147. He like, man, I've been trying to get the fight. I've been talking to Eddie Hearn. We're trying to make a deal, but I got a fight coming up. So after the fight and how he looked, it's going to put everybody on notice. And I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm saying, man, because I can't wait to see Kel Brook back in the ring, man. That's my guy, man. Listen, he's never been the same as far as his popularity and people kind of just forgot about him after the, you know, the way Bully Spence fight. And then, you know, people gave him love for the stepping up against your boy Triple G, but Triple G was a little bit too much for him, man. But at the end of the day, Crawford never really responded back to Kell Brook, man. That's a good fight. I'm not saying Terrence is scared, but that's a great fight. I'd rather see Kell Brook in there with him than Connor or your boy Josito Lopez. What do you think, right? So why not make it happen? You understand what I'm saying? You ain't got nobody to fight. Everybody ducking you. Everybody high. And I just did a few videos on your boy Danny Garcia. Angel Garcia ducking under the mattress. You see what I'm saying? So I'm like, this is the fight we need to see. First, we need to see how my boy Kel Brook look in that ring. I want to see the jab. I want to see the stamina. I want to see the focus. I want to see how he approached the fight. That's going to tell me everything. You see what I'm saying? I'm looking forward to it, man. We're going to go live on that fight, man. But what do you think, man? You think it's a good fight? You think your boy Kel Brook is washed up? You think that uh, Kel Brook gave your boy the way Bully Spence his first big test? And you dig? It, you know, it will be a good thing to compare and contrast if your boy, you know what I mean, Crawford get in the ring. With Kell Brook to see how he can he, he measure up. I think it's a good look. I think he can actually put him on his record and, and if he wins and, and then actually, you know, start moving and shaking. Because I agree with a lot of fans saying that Crawford hasn't been in the ring with anybody that we consider top level. Right? But it's not his fault. He tried. He had, he, you know what I mean? He had nothing. There's nothing but opportunity and space. And nobody wanted, you know, get in that same space with him. He's calling up the big names. Everybody's making excuses. So we can't blame, you know, Crawford. You see what I'm saying? But we can blame the way Bully Spence. Because the way Bully Spence is the guy with the keys. He's in the driver's seat. Not only because of his popularity from his fake fans, but PBC is kind of running things at 147. So it's, they got the keys to the car. So at the end of the day, Terrence Crawford can't do nothing but call these guys out And for 2020 you see that he's more vocal He even called the way Bully Spence man You see what I'm saying He put that pressure on the way Bully Spence You see what I'm talking about So at the end of the day man I want to see Crawford and my boy Kel Brook get in the ring And I think that you know listening to Kel Brook And how he was talking how he's feeling He's saying listen it's going to be a whole new different thing How I'm going to approach the sport of boxing How I'm going to talk to the media And how I'm going to use my social media And when I get past this guy In, in a spectacular fashion I'm going to call out the guys I actually want to fight You understand me so let's just see how it goes down Man let me know your thoughts on this thing man Something like something simple man I was just hyped to see my boy Kel Brook You know what I mean talking that talk and back And looking good in shape and he says he's going to stay at weight he's not trying to you know go you know get overweight and have a you know a camp where he's trying to just lose weight because it took a total toll on his body because he can get big you understand know what i'm saying and he's tired of hearing the miracon story and the hearing the miracon questions and that's a good thing miracon let me down man miracon was my guy miracon got speed athleticism he's quick he's missing a few different things that he cannot change we talk about the way we talk about your boy deontay sloppy we have to look at Miracon. He is stuck in his ways, man. That's just, he's going to be the guy that gets in the fight when he doesn't need to. He's going to be the guy that shoots the jab when he doesn't need to. He's going to be the guy that gets hit by that big straight right. You know what I mean? Once you get hit by it, you would think by the fifth round, getting hit by it so many times, he can avoid it. No, he's going to get hit again. That's just your boy, Amerikan for you, man. But I still like him. I still think he can do some different things against different fighters in that ring. And I believe that he was winning some of those rounds. Well, I don't know how many rounds that went with your boy Crawford, but he was doing his thing in that in that fight until he got hit low. But I think ultimately Crawford would have found, you know what I mean, found his mojo and, and did what he needed to do to get him out of there, man, like he did. But at the end of the day, you're rocking with your boy TBT. Let me know your thoughts on this fight, man. Crawford versus my boy Kel Brook, man. Holla at me. Cash, Cash and boxing talk.